everyone and welcome to the 2024 Women's Gold Cup post-match press conference. Today we are joined with uh, uh, Puerto Rico head coach Nathaniel Gonzalez. As a reminder, simultaneous translation are available in English and Spanish. Also, I remind to the media, please, if you want to ask, say your name and the name of your organization. Please. Buenas tardes, profe. Mauricio Duque, de la hora del FPC. Eh, quisiera preguntarle, más allá del resultado y que ahora Puerto Rico deba esperar los resultados del otro grupo para ver si clasifica o no, ¿con qué se queda de su selección durante esta Copa Oro? Realmente se me fueron pues, una sorpresa y demostraron estar al nivel de selecciones aún más grandes. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Estoy um, really proud of the team. And I, to qualify through the prelims, and it's not an excuse, it's just at this level, at this high level, how, how fast-paced Brazil played and how fast-paced that uh, Colombia played tonight. It's hard to play four games in 10 days at this level. Um, but I thought tonight was, you could see, we were, very, we were slower at the beginning. I think once, once they got the goal, we started to kind of get our second wind. Um, but we, but Colombia's world-class team. I mean, they moved the ball quickly. They had very distinct and precise movements off the ball, which for us, we had a hard time reacting because the way we had to defend, um, we were trying to cut out a lot of their their movements and their passing lanes. And we frustrated them, I think, in the first half. Second half, they came out and they solved some of our some of our uh, traps. But, um, but for the tournament, and like you said, we still have tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think there's I don't know exactly, but there's three different scenarios that I think could get us on. So um, we put ourselves proud of the girls because we were in a position to still talk about playing on March 2nd or 3rd. Any other question? No. Let's start with a visual question, please, Orlando Castellan. Gracias. Buenas noches, profe Nathaniel. Orlando Castellán de Servicio Informativo en Deportes. Hoy eh, se puede ir orgulloso por lo que ha mostrado este equipo de Puerto Rico, de lo que ha hecho en esta Copa, de sus jugadoras, de, de plantarse y, a, y, y dar batalla a grandes equipos en esa parte. Y si siente que, que ya está creciendo un poquito más su fútbol y que en otros torneos puede ser más competitivo este esta selección a estos niveles de, de lo que es la Copa Oro? Yeah, I, I, this, was, this was our first test, right? Our first uh, major tournament we qualified for. So to play against four teams, if you include Haiti, that were in the World Cup, and to have the showing that we did, we did fantastic, super proud. Um, what does it look like for the future? I think getting into these events and these tournaments is going to be important, but I think more importantly is I think now that we've shown at least this region and whoever else is watching across the world getting these players exposed that to get them playing at a higher level professionally. Uh, I know some are still finishing their university work, but once they're done, they've shown themselves well here, and I think getting them in those environments, the same environments that the Colombian players are in and the Brazilian players are in, I think that is going to help us be more competitive and maybe, you know, knock off a of Brazil or, or Colombia down down the road. That's, that's, that's a long-term goal. Um, but with what we have and how we've grown for the last two, three years, been an amazing experience. And I think the, the women on this team have, have done a lot with what they've been given. And... Um, this is a big step, obviously, for the island and for the federation. I think um, the future's bright, but to grow it, you, you've got to get our players in environments that the Colombian players are in and Brazilian players in day in and day out. And that, that'll be the difference eventually. Please, Daniel Reyes. Eh, profesor González, buenas noches, Daniel Esteban Reyes para el Corazón Deportivo. Profesor, ¿qué puede usted destacar de esta selección puertorriqueña que pues, en torneos anteriores ni siquiera hubiese llegado, por lo menos a la fase final? Eh, frente a la competitividad, porque hay que decirlo, porque desde un punto de vista eh, 
por fuera de este contexto, pues se pensaría que Puerto Rico se hubiese llevado goleadas abultadas, hablamos de Brasil y hablamos de Colombia. ¿Qué puede rescatar de eso, de, de su selección, de su equipo, frente a la competitividad que dio frente a estas dos poderosas selecciones, de, no solo de Sudamérica, sino del mundo? Muchas gracias. Um, you know, when you, when you don't have the qualities of a, a Linda in Colombia and I, I mean, a Nunes in Brazil, I mean, I, I'm leaving a ton of people out. Those are the special players at the special moments that make, make a difference. And, and that's on every team, you know, in FIFA and across the world, there's those special players that make a difference. And those are the teams that move on. So for us to hold Brazil and to hold Colombia and to beat Panama, um, and be competitive, absolutely. It's, it's much easier to destroy <laughs> than to create. Um, and we had our moments to score, and again, those moments were far and few between, but at the next level, those are the moments that matter. And a one goal, you know, tonight, you know, is when Kennedy gets in the box, you know, that's a moment. Maybe it, maybe it could have been called, maybe it didn't, um, but Brazil was the same way. We had moments in their box, but th you've got to have the quality of player and time and the experience that those teams have to be able to break down the team. And for us, we just made things difficult for teams. And I'm really proud of their coachability in, in very two days trying to solve the next team, um, that they were very coachable. And we put, we put, put a puzzle in front of Colombia that, that was difficult to break. Same thing with Brazil. And um, proud of the team that they were willing because that's not easy. It, they were willing to put themselves out there and be uncomfortable um, and, and owned it. And, and we were able to put ourselves in a position that we can still talk about potentially getting to the quarterfinals. We finished this press conference. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you.